Humanity has outstayed its welcome. The dead shall inherit the Earth. I shall have my army to defeat Donos. Malum shall be mine, and all that remains is your sacrifice, an offering of blood. Follow your path. We live your final moments and change your fate to a far greater one. Your resistance was strong, but it was a matter of time before you obediently bow before me, as the rest of your species did. Let us return to Zurich and finish this. I will have my war, and you will bear witness to the end of mankind. With Hendrix as my vehicle, I stand giddy towards coalescence, leaving pandemonium in my wake. Zurich was one of the few remaining standing cities. With control over my undead army and the city's robotic security force, I decimated it in hours. I needed to separate you from your guardian angel, Cain. I didn't have control over her, and she was pulling my power from me. That would come later. By taking Coalescence headquarters surrounding it with an impenetrable armada. But I waited for you. I was still curious. I was in your head. But I couldn't take control. I wanted no... I needed to know how before I opened the gateway. But before that, you had to get through my undead army. Systems have gone haywire. Vehicles, trains, power, anything connected to the grid was now a weapon at your disposal.
you used Hendrix's DNI to plug into the system. We could see that from the carnage you unleashed, but we didn't know how bad it was yet. WA Command came over comms. They were experiencing, and you built yourself a wall of robotics blocking us from coalescence.
By the time we made it inside, you'd extended beyond Switzerland's grid. You'd seize control of WA Command. All remaining robotics protecting the world from the undead were now only loyal to you. You've done it. It's the beginning of the end of mankind. All that stood between you and domination were the two women in that world. I'm soon that too accordingly. You trapped us in a decontamination room. You released this chemical. 6115. The virus that caused the outbreak in Singapore. Then I had enough to wipe out all of Zurich. You had triggered multiple breaches and containment failures. I interfaced with the system to see how bad the damage was. as I predicted. She sacrificed herself. The room was flooded with 6115, and the system reset was in there. But wait. No. There was a problem. What had you done? You lied. You tricked her. There was no breach. She sacrificed herself for... for nothing. I ripped her from you. She could toy no more in my affairs. The dose I gave her wouldn't even turn her. It would simply kill her. I will never understand your species. You sacrifice yourselves for so little. Look at her. 
She gave her life for something that would amount to nothing. You tie yourselves to emotions, forcing you to act impulsively, without considering what could happen. You give your lives because you believe there's something to gain, as if a heavenly body would fall to its knees and worship you for your good deeds. Do you? Keep moving. I found Kruger. You're almost there. The one there. who rebuilt Project Corvus. It was time to open the gateway, and Kruger was proving difficult, unwilling to fulfill his task. But he was equipped with DNI like yours. There were easier ways I could persuade him. I could become him. I couldn't let you. I told Hendrix to stand down, or I'd take him down myself. You were desperate to convince him to open the gateway. You were relying on me being unable to shoot my friend, but I eventually did. We shot each other. I bled out on the floor and died with Hendrix, stopping you. But now you will shoot first. Change the memory. Don't wait for him to turn on you. Kill him. Change your fate. Let him win. Everything will be all right. <laughs> Good. Now sacrifice yourself. Open the gateway. Do as he asks. Let him think he's one. Offer yourself to him. Wait. What? Where am I? What is this place? Hendrix? What are you doing here? Where are we? What the hell's going on? I can't... I, I can't hear you. What are you saying? Why... Why can't I hear you? Humans have no voice in this place. And how could they? But as it happens, this is not Hendrix. Merely a reflection of your consciousness. It's how our realm manifests itself to mortals. How is this possible? What did you do? Deimos? What's happening? Why don't you ask your friend? Maybe Hendrix can explain it. He, he won't speak. He can't speak. Of course not. Of course the mortal cannot speak. Their voice is meaningless and insignificant. Why would we cater to their wants and wills when they shouldn't be here? Where is here? Like you don't know. Now you choose to play dumb with me. Do you even know what you've done? Where is Kruger? I don't know what you think's happening. Enough! In time, I'm sure it will become clear, but now... Now I leave you to die. Hello? Who's there? Where am I? This is your new home, my child. This is Malvin. Yes! 
I, I... I recognize your voice. You've spoken to me before. I am the reason you're still alive. I've been with you from the start. Traveling with you all this time. And now you're going to kill my brother for me. Oh yes. There's much work to be done. And so much you fun to be had. You just won't die. Fun to be had. How many times did I lead you, you to death only for you to walk away unstained? I am Doris, a deception and trick. This poor, badly mute soul did do a to damn me. thing. But he goes ready to give up and die. But how did you send me back? Why couldn't I control you as my puppet, like the others? You're mortal. She may be mortal, my dear brother, but she has a little help from her friend. No. You? This cannot be. What have you done? I've ended your little reign of terror over humanity. The time of the dead is over. No. No! 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 But... But, Deimos, I thought you'd be happy. I've brought you back home where you belong. I must be confused. I thought that's what you wanted. Humanity was mine to rule. They were mine to destroy. Humanity will destroy itself in time. It doesn't need our help for that. Sister, you've made a brave mistake. Taylor, what are you doing here? How are you here? It's an illusion I've created for you. A companion to help you. Follow him. Where is he taking me? To Deimos' hearts. To destroy him, you must first destroy his hearts. Deimos? Dolos? Taylor? Is anyone there? Dolos. I recognize these buildings. Why does this place look so strange, yet so familiar? Malum is a realm beyond conceptual space and time. It manifests as a reflection of the individual. This is your Malum. Follow Taylor. He'll take you to the heart.
and consumed by death. It's outstayed its welcome in the known universe. Father won't be pleased. What better time than now, I suppose? Do you think I will let you do that? Of course. You were never particularly good at anything. You were built to kneel, not rule. What's the human expression? I arrived on I Earth to destroy you. I lay hidden in shadow. Deimos never knew, but he's a simple creature. He's concerned with revenge, power, violence. He wanted an undead army just so he could kill me. How boring. And I was content to let him think he'd won. So I sat back while he consumed all of Earth. the futility of your actions. A human cannot kill a god. But she's no ordinary human. Wherever she goes, I follow. I'm in her head, a part of her. How could you have known my plan? Because it was my plan. I watched her in coalescence, saved her in the aquifers, guided her through battle. This entire time, you've played into my plan. It's a pity she won't live to see me kill you. You were Cain? You were with me the whole time. I am not my brother. I don't turn people into puppets. Not when they're so suggestible and malleable. Why control when they can formulate their own thoughts? Go. Destroy the heart. I will break you, rip you from her grasp. Taylor found us easily. All it took was for the Doctor to create the disturbance. Deimos thought he'd manipulated Salim. I had my fun watching my brother play with his toys, but I was bored. It was time to go home. You let him destroy humanity. Oh, relax. Humanity will be just fine. Without Deimos, Bishop's Cure will work. Humanity will return to its boring, uninteresting self. Don't you worry your little head. Even if you kill Damon. 
Kronos. You can't go home. The gateway to Earth is sealed. You trapped here. <laughs> I hope that's not. You can no! If killing that fucker means damnation here, I'll take it. Oh, I think you and I are going to get along just fine. did exactly as I had hoped. I knew, given the chance, he'd turn all of humanity into his army. Only then could I take him home. But to open the gateway, he needed a human sacrifice. Just as the test subjects were sacrificed to open the gateway in coalescence. A blood offering. You. You know he's not wrong. You are strong. Stronger than any human I've seen. You force yourself to carry the weight of the world. You use it. It motivates you. You're driven by the need to do better. To improve on what you once were. What's more human than that? The drive to do better. To be better. I won't let you do this! We're not finished! She's burned your hearts. You're already weakening. Once she destroys your soul, it will be complete. What choice do you have, Deimos? This is the world you made for yourself. I cannot be defeated. I won't be undone. I cannot be undone! Why won't you just die? This is your chance! Let's see what a mortal can do! Do it! Kill him! No! I am Deimos! Demigod of dread and terror! Oh yeah? How's this for fucking horrifying? Wait, this is Zurich. You said I couldn't come back to Earth. Right now, we've got bigger problems. Why? Because we killed your brother, heir to the throne of Malum? We've thrown this universe into anarchy. Demigods, sirens, titans, deities alike will go to war. Let them come. I like the sound of that. So, what's the plan, partner? We kill every last one of these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> 